Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of Clean Technica TV. What better way to start off this YouTube channel than right at Tesla Fremont factory? Here we are. Yeah, we're here. Uh, we got to interview Jerome Guillen a couple days ago. Uh, got to see Elon, got to uh, visit the factory, tour the factory, the General Assembly, the, the seat factory as well. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a beautiful tour. We got the behind the scenes tour, so stay tuned for that in one of our videos coming up. Yes. Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Hanan, but since that is a bit hard to pronounce for some people, just call me Kanan. I am based in the Netherlands and this is our new Clean Technica studio. In a few months, we'll be starting a weekly news show. But until then, since we're in what I still call startup mode, we're going to start off with our videos of the Fremont factory tour. This will be a series divided into a couple of videos because, you know, it's just that long. In the end, we might combine it again into one long one for those who want to watch it all at once. But for now, this is the first part of the Fremont factory tour. So, it starts in the press center, and no, not for the media, a metal press center. Rolls of aluminum are delivered to the factory. From what we could see, there were at least 30 of them just waiting to be used. This roll then unrolls into the machine where it is being cut to fit the required size at that moment. Now why do I say at that moment? When we came to the part of the factory where the metal is pressed into a specific component, it wasn't doing anything. But we were actually lucky. We already saw earlier that employees were bringing this huge block of something, somewhere. Turns out this is what presses the metal into shape. And here we see footage of how this press block is leaving the machine, and then a new one is put into place. Then the machine resumes operation, and this way, even though there's only one press, it can produce all kinds of parts. Here's some footage from 2012 that Tesla published of old press robots moving around different parts. Here it is today. As you can see, that is a pretty significant speed improvement. Especially when you take into account that this thing operates 24-7. The robot that grabs these parts can put them on one of four conveyor belts, where people inspect each piece and polish it a little where necessary. Before putting it on a platform that forklifts pick up and then place into storage which is the next bit we want to show, the warehouse. It's pretty big. Each of these platforms holds 10 parts. There are 10 rows, they can go up to four high, and it wouldn't surprise me if the maximum depth was 10 as well. This would equal a total of 4,000 parts as the maximum capacity. Judging from the speed at which one is produced, they could potentially fill that area within two hours. And that is just for one component. So, that brings us to the conclusion of our first video. With this channel, we hope to get to the little details that people are just dying to know about. There will be EV reviews, other clean tech product reviews, company visits, factory tours, interviews. We hope to cut through all the misinformation out there. Please subscribe and click that strange little bell icon there in the corner and be among the first to be notified when new videos are released.